Hey, I'm Kenzie Taylor, and welcome to my photo shoot for my feel. Honestly, the the couple that did it, it was a husband and wife, and the guy owned um, like a special effects studio. And my favorite type of movies are horror movies, and everything they did there was like horror. And I got to see a mask from the movie Halloween, which Halloween and Michael Myers is my favorite. And I got to see a mask that really no one's got to see yet. It's from like the newest one that's supposed to come out. He's like, you can't take any photos, but I'll show you what it looks like. So seeing that and then a lot of like other stuff that's been in like horror movies that I've liked was really cool. I think the most exciting part of it is the fact that I was even asked to do that in the first place. Uh, I've never been asked to do something like that and they're kind of usually like selective about when they ask like, hey, can we mold your body parts? So I was like, oh, I feel kind of cool for a moment. <laughs> and then also the fact that, um, you know, I'm coming up on my six years in the industry and I have a lot of fans who constantly are asking if I have a mold and I don't, but now I will. Food, I love food. Sex, I love sex. And money, money is great. And it buys me awesome vacations that I get to take and cool things for my dogs. I think it would be like a tie between teleporting because I love to travel and it would be amazing to never fly on an airplane ever again and never have to go to an airport ever again. And being invisible. Honestly, um, I feel that being sober is giving me like a new perspective on my life in general. And my sobriety is like what inspires me to continue to like just grow as an individual. Yes, that empowers me, but also um, good food. Good food empowers me as well. <laughs> I like chicken wings and I like pizza. I think that knowing like how important testing actually is, because there's a lot of people that don't recognize like how important it is to test for STDs. It's super important, you know, and, like I get tested every 12 days and I mean, now we're getting COVID tested and that's like every 48 hours. So it's pretty insane. But just like the safety measures that we take, I feel like that would be really beneficial to people that aren't in the industry as well. I can't really say like watching all the videos, they're gonna learn like, oh, this is exactly what it's like in real life because like, it's not like we're performers, you know? And that's what I try to tell like a lot of fans like, you know, you might like watching really, really rough stuff, but that doesn't mean that, you know, your girlfriend, your wife or boyfriend or husband, like they're gonna like that. So it's, it's a fantasy. So I don't know, I'm just kind of like educating them more on that. Like they're more along the lines of watching, you know, fantasies for the most part. To really, really, really make sure that that is what they want to do because once you do porn, there's no going back. It's you're out on, there on the internet forever. Every single person you know will find out. Your family members, your teachers, your siblings, your significant others, like everyone's gonna know. So that, and then like, if you do decide to do it, like just really being safe and um, saving money. A lot of people like blow their money. It's just sad to see. Hopefully directing. Um, I really want to direct gay porn. Um, that's like my goal ideally is, is either doing um, gay porn or like bi, trans, and gay porn would be ideal. That's really what I want to do. If not, um, still performing. I'm very sarcastic, so I would definitely say witty. I'm very ambitious. I think I'm pretty decent looking, so I guess I could say striking.
I'm really excited about it. I'm like really stoked about it. Uh, like I said earlier, like it's just really awesome to even be asked in the first place and like all these people are asking me and it'll be finally cool to be able to be like, I have a vagina mold, you can fuck me now. It's actually from me personally. I'm very sloppy, so I would say <laughs> use a lot of spit, not lube spit, because I love spit. I have a spit fetish, so watch one of my videos, preferably something POV, so you can really get the full experience like it's you with me.